Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. So today is gonna to be the day of doing some repairs, maintenance, and other things of that nature. But before we do that, we have to go to the store. So, off we go. So the weather's starting to get a little bit cooler. Um, woke up this morning, it's a nice temperature in the low 60s. Broke out into the flannel shirt. Enjoy this, uh, this kind of weather immensely. Two years ago, we were we were sitting around 98 degrees still. So uh, yeah, it just reminds me that there still could be some some hot days left in this year. Along with the colder weather, one of the things that we've got to deal with is getting some of the uh, lawn equipment uh, ready for the winter. But uh, we've got to clean up the yard one probably one last time we might have a couple more mows left in here uh, but I've got a, a loose belt on my mower deck well that went about as smoothly as a cobblestone road uh, of course the first store I went to didn't have anything and then uh, just went down to our John Deere dealer and found the belt that I needed Got our old John Deere E180. Uh, so I've had to replace this belt one other time before and I tried to do it while it was on the tractor. I think that this time what I'm gonna end up doing, is just taking the whole deck off, it's actually fairly easy to take off, uh, change the belt out and then put it back on. That was fairly painless getting the uh, mower deck off just a couple of pins and then slide it out from underneath there but as you can see that was a uh, little aftermarket belt that I picked up it just has not lasted so I went down to the John Deere dealer picked up the OEM belt hopefully that should get us back up and running What I'm doing is I'm just taking the little plastic cover guards off of the pulleys so we can get in there and get the belt off and also clean out from underneath the pulley all the uh, dead grass and stuff debris that has uh, accumulated up in there. Here's a little pro tip for you. When you take your screw out, go ahead, put it back in the hole. That way, you don't forget which one goes where, and uh, the threads don't get all messed up. So now that we've got the majority of all the dust and debris cleaned out from underneath the pulleys and around the deck, then we're, uh, we'll put the new belt on. We'll try to remember which direction it goes, and see if we can get it on all the pulleys correctly the first time. Fingers crossed. I think we got it all <laughs> figured out. Um, so on this first pulley, that's the most difficult to, to get it on. This is the tension pulley. Uh, I just loosened this bolt up enough to pull it up so we can slide the, uh, the belt on, then tighten it back down. While we have all this apart, I think I'm gonna grease all of these spindles. That way, I don't have to take it apart to do that again. Hi, baby girl. Are you stuck? Are you stuck? All right. <laughs> I guess while we got the grease gun out, we'll go ahead and grease up the other little zerks on this. Thing. All right, got the tractor 
are all greased up. Now let's put it back together. Well, that was more difficult than it needed to be. But I finally got it on. Apparently, I had the uh, pattern wrong. That's the correct pattern. Oh, had it going around the uh, clutch in the wrong spot on the opposite side of the tension pulley. Right, friends well that's about all the time that we got uh, for today i'm gonna go ahead and get mowing the yard um so i guess the moral of the story is cheaper is not always better uh that aftermarket less expensive belt lasted me less than a year uh and uh the oem belt on it lasted me what three so uh cheaper is not always better so we'll uh Hopefully this one will last a good long time. We'll keep the blades sharp and hopefully not hit any more rocks that tore up the first belt. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video informative or at least entertaining in some way. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. And if you, uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. See more of what we have going on here on the homestead. And I guess we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.